Michael Canoas, Lisa D. Hart here, Three Minutes with the Main Guide, and we're continuing our series fixing up this camper. And today we're going to put the seat in and we're going to talk about solo canoe seats. So if you've ever put a canoe seat in, you know the hardest thing to get a hold of are these six inch stainless steel bolts, the canoe washer, and the spacer. Um, but Ed's Canoes sells a complete kit with the spacers, the washers, the bolts, everything you need. Also, Rutabaga Sports also sells it. Rutabaga Paddle Sports and Ed's Canoes. And I'll put um, their logos and websites I'll put in this video. Now, if you want to make this completely silent as you paddle along trying to get a good picture of a moose, if you take a little piece of rubber inner tube and put it where Jeff's pointing his finger, between on either side of the wooden spacer, that canoe won't squeak. It'll run completely silent. So I've done several videos now on how to set up a canoe for so as a solo boat. And I get questions and comments from other canoeists who are saying, Lisa, if it's a solo boat, how come you don't have the seat in the middle? Well, back in the day, the majority of the time that you saw a seat in the middle of a canoe, it was a playboat. We called it a playboat. Um, we put the airbags in fore and aft. It was small. The seat was in the center or it had a saddle and thigh straps, whatever you wanted to do. And we played. It was almost like the goal in that big rapid was to swamp it and flip it and take it back up and do it again and just see what you could do and what you could learn. They were playboats. Okay. So now for the first time, I've always been an expedition canoeist. I'm seeing these shorter canoes with the seat in the center end up expedition canoeing with a full-sized adult and gear, okay? And they are not happy canoeists, okay? Any kind of rapid, any moderate wave and they're getting swamped and having to bail and the water is cold and I've seen it more than once, okay? It's been showing up. So I wanted to, you know, give my two cents about it. And so back in the day, those little canoes with the center seat, they had airbags fore and aft. And honestly, from what I've seen with people trying to expedition canoe with them, that's what they're meant to carry. Those little canoes in the, with the seat in the center, fore and aft, they're meant to carry air. Okay, from what I've seen and little else. So, um, you know, that's my two cents on that just for god's sakes be safe it's the whole reason why i set up the channel but so that's why my boats don't have the seat in the center i'm going to show you a photograph of me at the top putting in at baker lake at the st john in a 16 foot two camper and this is the 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 loadedest i have ever been at the start of a canoe trip and still look at the freeboard okay so if you're going to go ahead and do these little tiny canoes, expedition canoeing, and you're put, going to put a full-sized adult in there with gear, for God's sakes, do it before you actually take off on the trip. And the biggest thing I want you to look at is once you're inside is the freeboard that you've got left over. Because from what I've seen, it's not a lot. If there's going to be wind, a moderate wave, a decent rapid, you're going to end up sitting in water for that trip not a good place to be. So now after all that, let's see how she goes. Not bad, not bad at all. Going to be just fine for my polling classes. Paid $300 for this boat. Probably put 120 in it with the with the wood and the hardware, but still just a fine fine canoe. Thanks for sticking with the series. Thanks for your patience. I know the um, videos have been kind of few and far between 
um, during this time. It's because I turn into a dirtbag canoeist this time of year. I did get my wood in. I did do work. I did. Um, but thanks for your patience. We got a really nice recap coming up after this video comes out of our 2024 season here at Three Minutes with the Main Guide, and it was awesome. I'm Lisa Dehart, and you've just spent three minutes with the Main Guide.